några fler. Yes. If you're gonna watch this walkthrough or playthrough, you have to get used to watching the campaign uh, map. Yeah, I mean it. A lot. Hmm. So you are trying to ride. <laughs> ride? Ride my trade route. Raid my trade route. Well, let's see about that. Oh, there are naturally occurring resources in this region that are not currently being exploited. Development in these areas oh. now will increase your the, nation's uh, trading. Shit in mines. Well, let's go get some resources up in there. Those are silver mines, but we can't upgrade them yet. That's going to take some time. Anyway, I have a vastly superior navy at this point, so I should probably just go and kill him. Well, that's the fifth trait, and my vessels aren't aren't uh, fixed yet. Oh dear. Guess I have to. Guess I'll have to wait a turn for that. And Denmark are garrisoning up in, the, in their city, their capital. Who can blame them? Anyway, I have a have a more more um, disciplined army than right here. Pikemen. Hmm. So, what's the difference here? Hmm. New types are, are actually inferior. Oh well. That's strange. 845. Basically the same at this point. Hmm. Can't do anything here. Well, they are happy enough. Yeah, let's build a wall. Admiralty, no, not there. Should build that here. But we have already built that. Could upgrade this. Yeah, why not? Make them happy. Increasing my production. And my income is is decreased. Yep, probably should go on the offensive soon. Yeah, bring some pikemen. They're proving the worth. They're worth. Ugh, have to talk probably. Okay, and move those two, those two, over here. Now I have a army, not consisting of of a majority majority of a militia, which is great, because then my army is less likely to rout. And you are getting replaced. Sorry about that. Anyway, next turn. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. 
very interesting. Okay, so you are joining that. Hmm. Oh. Oh, this is not good. Oh, you bastard. Well, I need a strong navy as well. Your nation is currently an absolute monarchy. This means the monarch makes all decisions mm -hmm. and handpicks ministers without having to legally yep. refer to a parliament or the people. Yeah. Ministers can be fired That's and replaced true. I out could, of hand by the Well, these are ministers, as the lady said, and if I find them inadequate, I can fire them and replace them by these blocks right here. So, I have a... Less than adequate, Lord Minister of the Admira Admiralty should replace him with him, or I should probably change those because right now I need a strong land land army. Hmm. Yeah. Oh. Yeah. Those they have bonuses. That's true. So you are good at management in general and administration. Hmm. So you should be a treasurer. You have four stars and if I change you out, hopefully you will gain another one. No. Quite the contrary. Oh, I misread. Oh dear. There we go. Yeah. So, you guys merge with this army. And you join the army. And can't have two generals in the same army. Yep, I have four more spots, so yeah, let's go for some artillery. 845. Well, there is a thing called firepower as well. And those have greater firepower, and those have even greater power firepower. But they have a, a lower accuracy, and well, the same reloading skill, but lower accuracy, and because the artillery units are generally very inaccurate in this mod, I should probably go for a bit of more accuracy. So, it's going to take at least three turns before we attack Moscow, or not attack Moscow, but attack... Attack... Um, Russia. So, how is the... Well, we have 5.3% pro protestantism. Uh, protestant... Protest... Ah. Forget it. Can't talk. Shut up. <laughs> protestantism. Ugh, why couldn't I say it before? Yeah. Growing a strong army here. Yeah. Soon ready to attack. Yeah. Next turn.
I forgot about the naval recruitment. Oh. Oh well. Oh, it's coming. It's coming towards me again. Well, soon. I should probably cut this out. Well, maybe not. Well, I'll think. I'll think about this. Yep, I kind of expected that. Well, it is a surprise that he didn't attack me right away. Okay, so you want a peace treaty for 5,200 gold. No chance. There is a port in this region that has not yep. yet been developed. Select the type of port to construct mm -hmm. here. A fishing port will help your population grow. A trade port will provide an income from overseas trade. As I was saying, a naval um, port allows the construction of warships. As I was saying, um, two can play the piracy game, but. Should probably build a stronger navy. Yep, I can recruit four, four, fourth rate ship of the line. I believe those are the best ships in the game. Um, at this point, in the campaign, at this point, I should say. So, hmm. Well, we have a great army now. Still don't think we can take those on. Hmm. Yeah, too many melee units. Cossack infantry. Hmm. I am very worried about this part right here. So let's take our army. Go here and recruit. Cavalry should be appropriate. And I have I have a wall here. So that should be a bit easier to defend. Upgrade my fishery. Which research and technology. Oh, forgot to change that. Well, let's build a college and start to working on my military resources. Resources. Um, I mean, mm, technologies. Plug bayonets. Hmm. I really need a bayonet. To fight in melee, so let's research that. Research that first. You have already moved this turn. Well, no, you haven't actually. Should I try to attack? I have a superior force. Yeah, uh, these aren't all the units, I should say, because we have to take into account the gray bars as well, which is the. Citizens, I should say. So, I'm gonna save again. Not that one, but that one. And attack. I have a slight advantage. Oh, settlement fortifications. Crap. That means fighting on the wall. Yeah, I do have, a, have an advantage in numbers, but he has an advantage in artillery. Oh dear, oh dear. Well, let's try. Uh, 